Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Omi bringing back a brand new video. As most of you do know, there has been a recent update for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, including patches for Warzone, uh, itty bitty updates for the multiplayer, including the Obsidian camo, which is why you guys are here. So let's get right into that. Alright guys, so as I go into my custom games and introduce these classes, that I will be showing how to get Obsidian Camo for each and every category of each class. So, as we start, Kilo, right, part of the Assault Rifles, including the Foul M4A1. Um, we're gonna start and kill 15 enemies in a match 200 times. 200 times, guys, kill 15 enemies. Obviously, as it was rumored that this camo was going to be more difficult to get than Damascus camo. I don't know if they saw as Damascus like easy for everyone to achieve. I really don't even know how many people even have it. Just a side note guys, and I just realized this, I thought all the ARs were the same, but the M4 is that you kill 15 enemies in a match 200 times. It's literally just like 54 matches in the Kilo. I don't know if it's different in the AR category, but I guess they just know the M4 is the main AR in this game. Um, 50 matches more, I guess, tossed onto it, but here is, we have the AUG as the submachine. This is kill 15 enemies in a match 150 times. Uh, this is like very similar, just as the AR um, version. And then we're on to the shotgun class. Kill 15 enemies in a match 150 times. So, as you can see, most of the numbers are basically the same. A little variation as we go on into what are the classes like so the lmg pkm um pkm i'm pretty sure yep kill 15 enemies in a match 150 times so yeah, the model is basically the same um 15 enemies is really not that hard for those of you not like you don't even have to be a grinder at this game to get that amount of kills it just i, I guess it's, it's per game i don't know how people are going to be planning on how to get that let's go on to the marksman rifles uh, so we have, I think this is 125, yep, 125 times 15 enemies killed in per game. Uh, and again guys, I think what they're going to be doing is they're going to be using the EBR-14, the carbine and car, because those were the three main guns you had to get all the challenges unlocked in order to get going on the Damascus camo. I don't think crossbow and this SKS is going to be involved in getting this camo as they are DLC weapons. So onto the sniper classes, the dragon off. We have the camo is kill 15 enemies in a match 125 times. So obviously we're gonna have to be doing a lot of slaying in order to get these uh, guns unlocked. And of course the variation of the game mode is definitely gonna be speeding up depending on what gun you're using. Next we're gonna be using the riot shield. And oh my god, the riot shield was just insane to get for Damascus, but look at the zero i mean 750 enemies you have to kill with a riot shield i don't know if that's just a riot shield alone or like you know you can use like tacticals or lethals with it but that's just i don't know that's just a whole nother level of crazy i don't even want to think about that just, until i get to it and on to the pistols i think they're mostly the same um let's see x16 so let's try that out Camo, kill 15 enemies in a match 100 times. Obviously, they're gonna lower it for it because it's pistols alone, and you guys can run two wheels. I don't even know if they're gonna nerf it, but just to speed it up, kill 15 enemies. I think the best thing to do, guys, and this like since it's your secondary, is to run your assault rifle or whatever your primary gun is that you're getting. Get 15 kills with that, and then with your pistol or whatever secondary you're using. Use this at the same time to speed up the process. This will definitely make this much faster for you because, you know, some people just like to focus on one thing, but I mean, do you however you like to play the game. And then as to the launchers, so these three launchers, the Pila, the Strela P, and then the Joker, these three, you just have to destroy kill streaks such as uh, vehicles on the ground and the air. So destroy vehicle or kill streak a hundred times. So obviously, I don't know if this counts in Warzone, but um this should be pretty easy you know just pull it out whenever you see a or change classes even when you see a VTOL jet whatever uav in the sky uh, but as we get to the rpg um obviously it does not have an auto lock as the other rpgs do 
Um, this, you have to kill 5 enemies in a match 150 times. That should not be a problem whatsoever. It's just obviously a long grind to go upon this process. Combat knife. See, we have killed 10 enemies in a match 125 times. So basically the same numbers, but you guys get the idea of how to get the obsidian camo. It's going to be a long grind, guys, but obviously... If you're a grinder, you at that Damascus camo, you know, we're capable of getting any camo they're going to throw at us. So, um, I guess good luck, guys, with uh, whoever's trying to achieve and getting this camo. Um, we'll be seeing much more information, I guess, on how to get it faster in game modes. I may be providing that later on. I guess I just had to figure it out. But, yeah, most of it is just, you know, killing, playing the game as usual. It's definitely going to be dragging out a lot more players from the Warzone side into the multiplayer side of things. That is basically how you get obsidian camo. It is a lot of grinding, something that is not going to be happening in a short amount of time, I guess. It really depends on how much time you put into it, the hours, the grind. We all know how much time it took for many of us to get Damascus camo. So just put down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you think it's too crazy? Is Mono Warfare thinking that this is the right amount for us? And of course, leave a like subscribe and we'll be providing more videos in the future for you guys just to see to get ahead of everybody else in the game.